Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about how to survive longer, how to win more 1v1s, tips and tricks that you can use to stay alive. It's important, okay? Staying alive in this game is a big deal, especially with your team. You always want to be alive. You don't wanna be down and put your team at a disadvantage. It is very key in this game to make sure you're staying alive, slowing down. If you guys are new around here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, throw a like on the video. We're almost at 20K, so big thank you to you guys. Now, before we talk about the video, I do want to talk to you guys about the eSports Halo League. Man, my team is hopping in this. I suggest that yours does too. If you really want to take your game to the next level, man, you need to get in stuff like this. This is pretty cool. So it's going to be 16 teams, 18 playoffs. It's going to be casted matches on their Twitch channel at easy zone media the teams are going to be split into two groups and the top four teams from each group to make the playoffs this is honestly just a huge dub man it's really cool also along with the halo agent on twitter they have a lot of 1v1 2v2s 4v4s daily halo tournaments that you can enter and just get your name out there get that practice get those games in it is a really big deal highly suggest that you guys check it out like i said easy zone media on twitter i will link it in the description go over and shoot them a dm tell them you want to get in on this before it fills up and take your game to the next level now the first thing i want to talk to you guys about is the start of the game on every single map it does not matter pre-nades okay a lot of people in the beginning of the game me included i'm gonna go a certain way and i'm gonna throw nades no matter where you go in the beginning of the game you're probably gonna get a nade thrown at you and if you get hit with it you're at a disadvantage right there so say right here, one of the big things is going big door. Now, on the other side of the map, pushing pillars and nading big door, okay? Or pushing up here to right here sandbags, a sandbags, and they're going to be nading you from pillars as well. So the guy will come, he might chuck a nade here, chuck a nade here, or bounce it off the wall and try to land somewhere in this area. You want to slow it down off the start. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but if you're going in solo duo and stuff, you need to make sure you're staying alive, okay? If you stay alive, you're going to get better chances of getting more kills, which is gonna give you better progression in ranking up your CSR. So right here, what I do, this is one of the ways I push. I like to push big door on this way, but I'm, I'm slowing down, I'm hesitant, okay? Now, if you're really good with the slide, you could just slide here and you're gonna get there a little bit faster, but otherwise I'm hesitant because I know some nades are gonna come in here. They're gonna aim them right in this area. So if I come around the corner, get hit with a nade, it's gonna stop me in my tracks and I'm gonna get shot from pillars. That is not what you want. You wanna be smart. You wanna stay alive. Like I said, I got my sticky note right here stay alive and slow down slow down is the most important thing in this game people get carried away especially when they get a kill they're going to go full bore and think god all the confidence in the world and that's not what you want to do trade not kills is only good in certain circumstances if you're going in solo duo or cross play if you're trading out it's not the best idea okay so you want to stay alive and get as many kills to deaths as possible so right here like i said i'm going to slow it down wait for the nades usually i'll see a couple nades and then i'll slide around the corner the reason why i slide around the corner is because I don't want to just, I definitely don't want to sprint around the corner. Like I said in previous videos, if you sprint around the corner, it takes a while to pull your gun up, okay? That little half a second that it takes is not, is, is going to put you at a big disadvantage. So right here, boom. Instead of me either sliding, I can shoot when I slide, or if even just walking and looking, okay? If you have an idea, if you get a call out, say they're at nest, you can even walk in scoped. Just use this natural cover of this wall right here to be able to see if they're jumped up to nest because a lot of people jump on the box, the top nest. You can just get an idea here. You got this natural cover of this wall and that's a big deal, natural cover in this map. I'm gonna show you guys, this is probably the most open map that we have in ranked. So I'll show you the natural cover. Right here, I'm picking shots. I can even peek shots with pillars. I'm using this now as my natural cover. If they throw a nade or if I get shot, I can easily get away. I have an exit right here. I can come back up here. And just be able to use the map to my advantage. That is one thing you got to realize. You're on a map. Okay, think about this. You're on a small map with seven other players. You see where your team is at. Say I have a guy up at uh, right here, A Sandbags. I have a guy at Window. And I have a guy, say, A Tunnel. Okay. Now, I know that their team is somewhere over here. Okay, on the other side of the map. It's that simple. Usually, where you see your team, if they're not getting shot... And you see, oh, there's nobody over. My, none of my teammates are over here, so I'm going to go over here. You're probably going to run into one or two of their team. Now, if I run over here and there's two of them, that's not a good fight. You got to pick smart fights. You got to have, the, you got to know which battles to take and which battles not to take. Now, say I'm over here and I get this guy one shot. Boom. Shooting him. Got him one shot. I know that he has another teammate and he goes down back B. Are you going to go this way? That is not what you want to do. You don't want to go over there because all you're going to do is end up killing them. Yes, that's fine, but then that other guy's going to kill you. 
Now you trade it out. It's pointless. You got to pick your battles. You call them out and back off. You don't want to chase kills in this game because usually when they're running away, they're running to their teammates. So you don't want to chase. You want to use the map naturally. If, if you get somebody down one shot and he gets away, that is fine, okay? Call him out. If he gets picked off, well, good. If he doesn't, it's okay. That's one of the things I see a lot is people contesting. They just want to, they get a guy. This is a big one right here. Get this guy. There's a guy jumped up over shield. They got him one shot, okay? They're nading him. Then they're going to run right here, slide, whatever, and try to kill him, okay? Now what? Their back is turned to the enemy, okay? And the guy's going to die. Yeah, he might kill the overshield guy, whatever, but he's going to die. That is a bad move. You want to make smart moves when you're playing this game. It is super important to realize the map cover and how much it helps you. Like right here, okay? What's what? Where are you going to be at if there's a guy nest? Are you going to be here or are you going to be behind this, okay? Using your map cover. You see this a lot in the Pro Series. You're going to see it a lot at Anaheim. It's called peak shooting. You're just going to be sitting there just bobbing and weaving, okay? Just peak shooting. Taking less damage. That's what you want to do. Less damage is key if you want to survive. Now, another thing I see people do is when they get grenades thrown at them, okay? If you get a grenade thrown at your feet, you can slide away from it, okay? If it comes at you, you can move up. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, man, but I was just playing a game and this guy just, I don't know. He, we were on recharge and batteries. He was at the back right battery. Somebody threw a grenade at him. All he had to do was slide up to the next battery and he wouldn't have take damage. But he just stood there and he got blown up, so... It's easy. You've got to take less damage. So another thing I see people doing that's really not smart is say there's guys up here at top A, okay? Now, I can shoot them like this, okay? Side to side. I'm using this cover. Doing this is not what you want to do in any circumstance whatsoever. You're putting yourself out there in a vulnerable state. You're just jumping up and down, just giving them your head nonstop. That is not the move. You want to peak shoot. Peak shooting is very big. You can do this on anywhere in the map. You can do this right here, okay? Sitting there, crowd shooting, boom, 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 like this. You can do it over here. This is one that I like a lot. A little head glitch, kind of. Seeing it OS, a lot of people don't do this. I got this wall right here as my natural cover. I, it opens up right here, and I can just peek shoot. You got all this. You got dummies. You can see. You can almost see cuts a little bit. If somebody jumps up, you can see it. But you're just sitting here peek shooting. Peek shooting is one of the biggest things that you can do in this game. I would rather be here than here, okay? Right here, most of the time, people are going to nade you. All right? Well, that's not a brag, but right here, boom. They're going to nade you. Peak shooting is key, guys. You guys need to start peak shooting a lot more in this game. There's cover all over the map. There's cover right here, okay? Using this for A sandbags when you're on strongholds on this map. You got it over here as well. Okay, this is another spot. Boom. Just lighten them up. It also helps you with bottom middle. You can use this hill as natural cover, okay? Sitting there lighting up bottom middle. Ducking below it. Ducking below it. It's just so simple to stay alive. Now, when you're trying to stay alive... One of the things I always say is slow your game down. If you go out there and you die three times in a row, you're doing something wrong. Because obviously you're going out there and you're not making the smart moves. Use your teammates as help, okay? Now, if I have three teammates at Overshield and it's coming up and I spawn Garage Door, what's the route to take? Okay, you're going to go out here where there's nobody? No. You're going to go over here and help your teammates. The closer you are to your teammates, the better chance you have at surviving. Now, I'm not saying be up here hugging on them, okay? Just be in the range because they can help you. And if they see you getting shot, most of the time they're going to look and you'll be able to stay and survive, uh, survive that way, especially if they put one or two shots in a guy you're trying to out-BR. Now, with your one-on-ones, when you're trying to win more one-on-ones, it's super simple, man. I see a lot of people, say if there's a guy right here at Dummy, say this is the guy, okay? So what they're going to do, they might even just slide down and try to kill him. No, you got the height advantage. Use your height advantage. And just sit here. Now, you think you're giving him your head? Yes, but you got to just come out in the open a little bit. Use your natural cover. That is the whole point of this video. I get questions. How do you win more 1v1s? Use your natural cover. Now, if you're out here, still a little bit of natural cover, okay? This dummy will take bullets from you. You got to look at this. There's stuff like this all around the map that'll just take a couple shots. If he takes one shot at that dummy and you're making your shots, you're going to kill him. Say you come around the corner here and you are down one shot. Boom, you get shot. You don't need to. That's not a fight you need to take. You don't have to make that fight. You can back off. If you get a lot of kills and you get less deaths and you get the win, you're going to get more CSR and you're going to rank up better. That is the point of staying alive. Now, another thing I want to talk to you guys about real quick to end the video is when you're in one-on-ones, I'm seeing this a lot lately, and it's jumping. Do not jump. Jumping is going to make you lose aim assist for one, and jumping is also just going to give them the option. You're just floating. They just It's easy to just light you up. It's so simple. You got to use different techniques in your one-on-one. 
and quit just uh, people are just left right left right left right no left right right just do stuff like that mix it up a little bit but don't get these guys one shot and then jump most of the time you're gonna die from jumping okay and you're putting yourself vulnerable especially if you're over here and you're fighting this guy right here and you jump you can get picked off easily from nest or sea bridge or something like that when you jump you're just putting yourself out there it's okay in certain circumstances but we're very slim you don't want to do it most of the time. I see people doing it a lot. It's just going to get you killed easier. But what I want you guys to do with this video, man, is when you play the next time or jump into a custom game, just notice the map cover. Start using a little bit more. Start using a little bit peak shooting. If you get one shot, get behind cover. Get your shield back. If you shoot somebody once or twice and they get away, don't chase them and realize how much better you're doing during the game. It is, it is so simple, guys. If you just put it in your mind and get that mentality, you're going to be successful in this game, I'm telling you. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.